I got my tea. Oh God, is there anything better? Can't imagine not liking tea. When I meet someone who doesn't like tea, I just wanna. <laughs> How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Sorry, there was no videos over the weekend, guys. Well, there was a video on Friday, but Saturday and Sunday there were no videos because I was away at Orton Towers. That was really fast. And a great time. Bought the merch from Orton Towers as well. I love the Wicker Man. It's just the best coaster in existence. Am I right? Spirituality. Nature. Something about trees. Some people like to experience this by a simple hike. I am one of those people. Others like to rub themselves up against nature. <laughs> they get a little bit too turned on by the nature. I don't know why people find trees spiritual or sexual. When I think about having sex up against a tree, I think about bark digging in my back. But there are people out there that embrace this nature. They let it into their soul. You guys have suggested a video called Couple Have Sexual Relationships With Nature. And we are going to watch this couple and see what it's all about. Also guys, tour tickets, UK tour, starts on Sunday. Ha! Huh? In Glasgow. Go. Run! Let's watch the video. The reason to connect with nature sexually is to really reconnect. What is that? What are they doing? Like, that, that is a lot of crap to take camping, isn't it? Look at it. Tune is that a tuning fork? Is that what's that called? You sort of you bang it and it makes that vibration sounds. It almost seems like too much effort. The earth and really remember that we are a part of- Someone gets some paint thinner. They're stuck together. <laughs> they got super glue on their back. <laughs> what is that? Um, it is very natural for humans. Are they having a stroke? Imagine walking through the woods with your dog and just seeing someone lying there like- Bullshit. And I'm a tantric teacher. All right, tantric. That's like, um, the only reason I know of that is from American Pie 2. When Finch is like practicing the art of tantric. Isn't it like holding all your energies in or something and then releasing them on your partner? <laughs> so that's pretty much the grim reality of it. I'm sitting in infinitry. I'm 29 years old. Of course he has a man bun. Of course. I expected nothing less. I feel that trees hold um, a sacred space. They also, in Florida, are a great nesting ground for alligators. You're right by a swamp. Yeah, nature's gonna feel real great when you're doing it and an alligator takes a bite out of your ass. And when there's an assembly of trees, they're like guardians and teachers for us. And Or they just grew. I'm sorry, I don't, <laughs> I don't mean to be so blunt. I just see things for what they are. They're just big ass trees. And then there's a serpent. Things like that in nature all the time. Either that or the tree knows what's about to go on and, and is aroused. <laughs> that is a weird tree, isn't it? There's something kind of kinky about this tree, I will admit. Very feminine, it's like a portal. It's not, though. I mean, it's, um... It's not. <laughs> it's just, it's just a, it's just a twig, love. Nature is very sexual and our sexual- It's a lake! Nothing sexual about that, and again, I warn you of the alligators that are in there. There's an alligator in that lake with his eyes just poking above the water going, This bitch loves nature. <laughs> Derek, get your teeth ready. <laughs> you can have the man bun, I'm having the spiritual bitch. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't like Florida and alligators being a big problem there. It scares me. I once went to Miami. And I sat on a bench and then he got sideswiped by an iguana. Nature hates me. Energy coming from nature. So could you explain uh, for someone who may not be familiar what it is you're doing? Ruining his mother's favorite handkerchief, that's for sure. It's like a lot of effort to just, why can't they just admit we like doing it outside? You know, who doesn't like a bit of rough in the wild, huh? It's just, it, this just seems too much. By the time he's laid out the sacred handkerchief, Next to the sacred watch. Someone's seen them. Do you want to explain? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know. He's like, um, I'm, I'm honestly just doing this to, because I, I think she's like really fit. I have no idea what any of this stuff means. <laughs> I just want to smash. So right now we are creating an altar, which is. Oh, it's an altar. Like a priest stands at. Is it the same sort of thing? I don't know. It's like a piece of art that is created with that round his neck what is inside that thing is it a scroll it's like today thy shall wear man bun 
are meaningful to us. Tantric ritual and Oh yeah, the bell. Again, you're just attracting alligators, all right? Alligator hears that shit and they're like Dinner's ready. <laughs> The alligators are going to make a lot of appearances in this video. Really experiencing the divine and spirit through our embodied experience. What does that mean? Can you tell me what that means? Listen to that again! Tantric ritual involves really experiencing the divine and spirit through our embodied experience. Um, in connection with ourselves, in connection- Okay, whilst our boyfriend's holding an invisible lightsaber, can anyone explain to me what that meant? I just, I, I can't logically, I'm listening to the words and I know what all the words mean. And when put into a sentence, it just makes as much sense as someone trying to recite rap god whilst falling down an elevator shaft. <laughs> with the earth. Uh, there will be a, a fire with sage here. Oh, you're gonna set fire to the handkerchief whilst you're making love next to it. Now we know where all the fucking wildfires start. Man bun over here, getting in touch with nature by burning it. So that will be kind of like catalyzing the alchemy of the fire and the water. It just looks like a dog bowl. Wouldn't it be hilarious <laughs> if when they were doing it, a dog comes up to their shrine and it's just like, <laughs> that's some tasty sacred water, human. <laughs> And for me, being a hippie just means being attuned to the way- You're not a hippie. What the fuck is that? Is that a nail? Sharpened? Why though? That's not hippie, that's vampiric. Really embracing because it is a new age. It is a new way to experience life. I'm sorry, are you scolding your foot? It's just so much work. I'd be sat there with incense coming off me. It's like two incense candles stuck into my ears, burning away like- are we going to smash? It's getting dark soon. <laughs> it's just so much effort! That's not a good position if you want to get pregnant, is it? Are they actually... Do they actually do it? With each other? Or have I got the wrong end of the stick? Starting breathing with each other. How, how did they meet? Do you know what I mean? How do you find someone else that's into the same thing as you like this? Sidin and I started connecting after I went through. I mean, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Good Instagram picture though, isn't it? Baby, that bun, 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 oh, ah. <laughs> oh, they got the same haircut. You know, that's cute. Couple goals. That's what some people would call that. Couple goals. Beginnings. So basically channeling a lot more energy. You know? She's not a cat. What are you doing? I was wandering through the forest and... Oh, of course you were, mate. I guess, I guess that's what, what you always do. Hey, Dave, what are you doing this weekend? We're going clubbing. I can't. I'm wandering through the forest. <laughs> and I came upon a river. Of course you did. What else? You know, maybe eight or nine women bathing themselves in the river, like... And this is in Florida. Is that what happens in Florida? I, I've never come across that when I've been in Florida. Called me into the river. She was one of the women in the circle. Alligator attacked all the other women, and she was the only survivor. I bet that's the end of the story. I had this experience come over me where it was like my heart broke open. That's cardiac arrest. I go to the doctor. <laughs> Someone approached me and fed me chocolate. Is that armband cutting off the circulation to your brain? No one's fed you chocolate. He went into a river with a bunch of women and saw saw someone that gave him chocolate. I, uh, that happened to me when I was a kid. The person who gave me a chocolate was a 40 year old man. He got arrested. <laughs> oh God. People are smoking some herb we've not yet encountered. I find it unsustainable to continue without going into nature to regenerate. Re <laughs> we find it difficult <laughs> not to come out into nature. <laughs> She's very pretty though, isn't she? I just don't know if I can be that in touch with nature. Ever since I was a kid, I've just loved nature always. Wildlife, the, the unknown. But I am also a pussy. I get scared of shit. Right? I would be walking through- it's just an irrational fear, okay? It don't matter where- if I'm here in England, I know I'm safe. 
The, the only thing we have to worry about here in England is like big ass seagulls. Anywhere else in the world, it's just shit that can kill you, right? And I'm not gonna roll around in that. Even if it's cold or, yeah. The cold doesn't bother you? Cold didn't bother me anyway. <laughs> I had to, all right? How could I resist that? It was perfect. God damn, that is a nice beach. Look at that. Imagine just walking the whole length of that for like a day. Ah, oh. see, that's what really enjoying nature is all about. Forget all this deep spiritual auras that feed us chocolate bullcrap. Nature is just wonderful. And I, I think what they're trying to say, they just love feeling it and being around it. I as well. Just not in this deep crap that they're on about. I will find that beach and I will walk down it. Well, I wish them all the best. They seem like, uh, you know, all jokes aside, they seem like a very loving couple. They're not hurting anyone. They're enjoying their life and their time. And they're getting outside and getting some of that vitamin D. And, and the other D as well. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> Guys, I'm going on tour. I'm going on tour at the end of this week. There are a few tickets left. If you want to come see me and have some fun, uh, not that kind of fun, because that, no. Then come, see me. Let's have some fun. I'll be touring the UK. Link in the description below. If you want to fancy getting some tickets. Like, love, caress my channel! And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. Ha <laughs> ha!